Hey everybody, how's it going? We are here with a timeless reading. Um, I want to thank everybody for all of the donations. I want to thank everybody that has purchased a personal reading, everybody showing up and supporting in whatever way it is that you do. Um, before we get started with the reading, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and healing space in alignment with the highest good. I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands in the pre-shuffle and the High Priestess. This is the type of opportunity coming up that one would be feeling is in alignment very much with what one finds valuable. Okay, I'm seeing that you've been working hard. You may be feeling a little bit burnt out at this point. Withdrawn, some of you are feeling, I'm hearing. Maybe you also feel like there are two these two sides of you. It's like during the day you're out and about doing your thing. Maybe at night you've been feeling a little bit blue or feeling a little bit sad. We're using the Fountain Tarot deck for anybody curious. You may be getting bursts of inspiration as well, but then it may be like leaving your body somehow. You could be feeling lonely or like you're missing connection a bit too. Like I'm seeing you're busy because you have certain things. I'm seeing you be busy because you have th certain things going on that you're doing. But as far as like emotionally and wanting to connect, like... With the wands, it can be like, I do have things that I'm passionate about or things that I care about and things that I like doing, things that I find entertaining or stuff that I want to get done. So I do feel alive in that way. But then transitioning over to the cups, you could be like, but I feel like I'm lacking a certain type of connection that I want or um, maybe you're just feeling like you need sort of a re-up emotionally. You could also feel this more often, like when you get more stressed out. You know, like when we're more stressed, everything becomes more severe. So that could be what you're feeling too. Plants that need watering. I feel like you want... I feel like you're missing something is the energy. Like... Four of Cups just feels a bit dwelling of like, I wish I had that. There can be things like in your memory that you've been thinking about, like missing. This can also be a like a homesickness that you're feeling. Just being like, well, what can I do about that? Eight of Swords. I know what connection feels like. I feel like I don't fully have that in the way that I want to. What can I do about that? How do I get out of this space? Bridge myself into something else. Getting curious again may find to be helpful. A nice place to meet somebody or connect with people is by tapping into your own interests and going to those places, whether it be virtually, physically. There may be somebody that you want to make an offer to, but you haven't. But this can even be like an offer that you want to make to yourself that's connected with a new chapter. Like, just as I was saying before with this Eight of Swords, it can be like, I'm in this space, how do I get out of it? Like, what bridge do I need to take to transition to another space? And I see this particular Knight of Pentacles in this deck 
as being um, like a bridge into another space like see how there's this threshold here and this person wants to get over like they're slowly transitioning into this other space where it's like clear and it feels free and there's like stuff at the distance this feels more dense and especially with this the eight of swords there's like a lot of density here that one is moving through now following like this new chapter or this new beginning that this person wants sorry for covering my mouth so we're moving in this direction over here. So this is about like keeping your eye on the prize and continue, continuing to like follow the lead of that. This transition is what's feeling like a lot of work, very strenuous. I also get this like solemn energy too. Like you may feel like this part of the journey has been a bit lonely right now. But I'm getting to like these memories from home that you have as well of like, I know what connection feels like. I know that familiarity. And I don't feel like I necessarily have that right now in physical form. You may feel that in other ways, but just maybe not physically. But I'm getting you like have this, this like memory impression that you carry within you. I get even like a withdrawing energy from the devil and the four of cups like okay so devil when I say withdraw I mean from anything this can be from sugar it can be from validation on social media you know like really anything this devil card is like coming out of I'm hearing the abyss coming out of some sort of veil I see this as being sort of like um when a fly gets stuck in a web you're like breaking out of that webbing that is like the attachment of the devil see how these people are like pulling out of this there's a lot of that that's going on here it's similar with this card too like this transition this person coming out of like that density that thing that's been like bogging you down i'm seeing it be like that here too these people that are pulling out of this and then having the four of cups be there too it's kind of like that empty feeling when it's like that thing used to really charge me up even though it wasn't something that was going to last forever with the devil it may have been something that like it did it for me for a little while but now i'm over here and i'm feeling very empty coming out on the other side of it so it's just but i this isn't four of cups is not your natural state this is like when you were really high and then you get really low so you're kind of like rebounding. This can also be from a relationship as well. It can, can be from anything. So your, your attachments to the past, that's what's making this difficult. Also part of the reason why we go through the forgetting as well, because it makes it easier for us to assimilate and transition into the earth realm. But I'm seeing you here trying to put pieces together. But yeah, this is like major attachment to the past. This can be stuff connected with family as well. Family of origin is what's coming through. It can also have to do with relationships but also like toxic relationships, things that you felt were unhealthy, but you can still miss those things too. That's also normal as well. We can know that something isn't like aligned with what we want to be connected to. We can know that something isn't like a healthy situation or a good situation for us to be in and we can still miss those things. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with how you feel, no matter what it is that you're feeling. 
But yeah, I just get this this like longing, like forlorn sort of energy here. But you also, I'm seeing it be like you're battling with this thing, like struggling with this thing. And for some of you, you're like stepping out of it or you've stepped out of it, but you're just feeling that like actual pulling apart where you're like really separating from that. And right now you may be inundated by all those memories of like the good times and the stuff that we did have in common and the fun that we did have, you know, like that sort of thing is what's coming through because you're not of this is like how the devil works right we get involved with something very sticky we try to pull away and the like fibers or like tendrils that can potentially pull us back are the things that feel good because you're not remembering the things that you're like this is the reason why i'm leaving right now this is that part of the process that it's like oh i remember when things felt fun like the reasons that had you staying in the first place you know before you decided to step out or walk away or leave selective memory but that's also like the trick of this it's how it gets you brought back into that like the nostalgia of it yeah but it wasn't just all like that. That's also something to keep in mind as well. But you could have felt safe in that space at times. And that was also real as well. But I'm getting that, like you're discovering something that's going to feel much more concrete to you. Because before it just felt like this thing that was a bit out of frame that you couldn't necessarily reach. And now this is going to become more tangible for you because you're going about it in a way where it will actually materialize in full. But there can be questions about that right now. Yeah, some of you this really does have to do with like where you came from. And the things that keep you tethered to the past, you perceive. Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles can also be like things that you had once upon a time. Five of Cups can be looking at things that you no longer have anymore. Four of Pentacles is like not letting go of that. So this is like being so stuck in the past that you're not in the present moment so getting present is going to be very helpful in whatever vehicle you use to get there and that's what's happening right now this is about like really letting go of the past and all that belongs to it and recognizing that it's not yours to hold on to any longer if you so choose if you'd rather be in the present Even though you may feel like you're at a point where you're at a standstill or it's getting very heavy or very difficult right now, I'm seeing immense, immense progress that you've made. I'm seeing a lot of work that you've put in. I'm seeing you getting better and better at like wrangling something in, meaning better and better at maneuvering through and learning how to control and like power something, learning how to like wield your own power over things that at one point in time could have had you feeling powerless. But you could be at a point where it's like ebbing and flowing and when it comes in, it's just feeling... It's, I'm getting words for like that webbing that happens like this again. So that's kind of what's being shed right now. I think that also the reason why you may be stuck connecting with the past is that you may not feel like it's something that you can obtain in the present. However, how are you ever even going to know if you're not in the present? Because you're not going to be awake enough in the present to recognize that. And then it's going to be in the past again and again and again. So you sort of like 
taking whatever vehicle it is that you need to take in order to get you into the present is going to be super helpful because I'm also seeing like things that you're capable of doing yourself but you may be so um so focused on opportunities that you perceive as being missed opportunities that it's making it very stressful in the present for you when you do check in so being able to surrender all of that it's like it's like you're trying to walk now on your journey and it's just feeling very heavy because of all the baggage so right now is about shedding that and telling you that you're going to be better off without it because there may be so many reasons why you're holding on to it still but I'm seeing that it's making the work right now feel very heavy like it's not helping you feel light and free as you're moving through the present because you're still dragging the past behind you like you still feel tethered to it but not in a way where it's been integrated in a way where it's just dragging you down because when we talk about surrender, we don't talk about being like, that never happened. Like, we're not bypassing here. But we're talking about integrating things to the point where it just becomes one with the present, but it's not right now. There's a separation. So this is, like, technically an integration that's happening, um, but it's seen as a surrender because there are still things that you're holding on to that you have not fully accepted and integrated. So that's what's happening here. And it's going to really change how you feel in the present moment. But this is all energetic work that you're doing here, which again, I'm seeing you've made a lot of progress with, but now you're at the point where a release is needed. Like you've been holding on to something that has just been making it more difficult, that it's you're ready to now lighten the load. And that's what this chapter is about currently. Okay, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. Also, for those of you that you you continuously have things around you that are reminding you of this past situation or this past person, like let's say you still have pictures around, you still keep like notes from them or letters or like dried flowers or you keep looking them up on social media and checking in or your friend keeps telling you about them or your mom keeps asking you about them, like whatever this is for you, whatever connection that is, for right now, you may need to cut those things off so you have time to like regain and energy to regain your balance in the present moment rather than having these tethers that keep sucking you back into the past and don't allow you to move on. And that's not to say that later on you can't bring those things back, but for right now, there needs to be you need to cut off the things that keep pulling you backwards because you're really off balance right now. And it's not allowing you to move forward. So that's why. And then later on, you can bring those things back if you want to, but you may not think that they're relevant anymore. But that's really what needs to be done because I'm seeing you just be in this like little cycle here that you may want to get out of and you need to stop having these reminders that keep bringing you back. Stop having these reminders of the past that are bringing you to this past that you're trying to break away from and things that pull things around you that are reminding you of like the present and where you're going and what you're doing and where you are right now and what you want to be involved in right now and this is about um it's like that notion of where you focus your energy is what you are watering and what you water grows so it's being mindful of what you're watering with your energy and if you have little reminders, even if they're like subconscious reminders or these little habits or patterns that need to be broken, it's about being mindful of that, okay? All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.